Question number 15. The table shows the height, age, centimeters of a thousand Namibia police recruits in a certain year. Okay. Now, as soon as you see a table, it's statistics. Just make sure if the widths or the intervals are the same or if it's different. Now, if I look at this and I'm just going to, I can see that one is 10. I cannot see if I write in green. I can just say 175 minus 70, it's just 5. Oh, it's not the same. 185 minus this is going to be 10. And this one is going to be 5. Okay, so I already know it's not the same. So now, I first want you to take you to the textbook. Uh, and I want to take you to the textbook, question number 15. Okay. Now, this is histogram for group data with unequal class intervals. And then, you cannot just draw it. You must first find on this vertical axis, the frequency density. So, and how do you find the frequency density? It's by taking the frequency and divide it by that width of the clauses. Okay, and that's what I did there. So, I, I was first writing, did you see there, and I can maybe write it in for you. This was 5, and this was 10, and this was 10, and this was 15, and this was 5. So I took the frequency, 20 divided 5, and I get 4. There's the, um, there I wrote it for you. And then I say 60 divided 10, I get 6. And so I do. So I first must find my frequency density. Right. Let's just go on. And then I will start. I just want to see if it's going to the next page. And I hope it's going. Otherwise, I must first find that next page for you. Uh-uh. Now, I must quickly find that next page. Okay, I got it. It's the next page, so it's page 675. Okay, in the, in, and there the question is continuing. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this, and I'll come back to this, is the modal clause. And it, it's quite a discussion, and some people keep on asking me why am I wrote this sentence, and I'll, I'll try to explain it. So if the classes have the same width, the modal class is the one with the highest frequency. But then the intervals must be the same. If the classes have different widths, the modal class is the one with the highest frequency density. Okay, so please, I'm, I'm looking for, because we are based on the Cambridge um, system, um, syllabus, I'm looking for a question in their old question papers where I can differ from what I uh, what I wrote here, but I think they will not differ. It's actually like it will almost be the same. It's because we don't go so deep into this in this syllabus that we are following, than than going further into statistics. So, um, but I'm still looking um, before I because up to now this it's just lucky that it's also the one the question when they ask it it will be the same. That's what I, I notice. Okay, but let's go back to the question paper. I can always come back here. And I want to explain, show you that modal clause. Um, so let's just find that. Um, so previous, okay, and next. Okay, it seems to me I'm just too high. I'm just too high there. So if you're going to, so first, go and find the frequency density. Now, I'm going to write it here. So this is the frequency density. We're going to need it to, to also draw the graph. So this is going to be uh, 100 divided 10, and that's 10. 250 divided 5, and that's 50. 600 divided by 10, and that's 60. 50 divided by, and that's the frequency density. Now, which one is having the highest frequency density? This one. Now, luckily, it's also the one with the highest frequency. But, but the way to look at it is to look at the frequency density. Okay. So I saw when I was checking, I'm checking a lot of old question papers of Cambridge, and I never came across that it differed. But I still keep on looking before I change anything in the textbook. Okay, so basically, 
I'm just going to say they say the class, so it's H and it's 175, and then I'm just going to do it here and 185. Okay, now work out the percentages of recruits who are at least, oh, it's again that word at least, so it means. 175 or higher, not lower or higher. Okay, so uh, 175. Now, if you look at least, so it, it's going to mean this too. Are you seeing that? It's this. This They are 175 or higher. So that's going to be the 600 plus the 50. So it's 650. And how many recruits are there? A thousand. And then I just times it with 100, and that's 65. So be careful for the word at least. It's actually up. It's from there up. That's what the word means. Okay, and it's just keep on coming. So I hope you, uh, you knew the word. Okay, or interpreted it correctly. Now, on the grid provided, draw a histogram for the height. Now, it would have been nice if they first asked you to work out the frequency, but sometimes it's a level three and they assume that you know you must first work it out because they, they told you their frequency density. That was your clue. So, but let's go and make that bars. Just make it a bit smaller. Luckily, they gave you the graph and, and you don't have to fill everything in. Okay, so I'm just going to check, check. So let's start. It starts at 160. I'm just going to take, and I'm going to have to work with red so that you can see. It starts at 160, and it must go up to 10. Do you see? So at 160, and I, now, now I, every time I will just move up and down because I need the graph a bit bigger to draw better lines. Otherwise, my lines is not nice. I don't want to draw it nice. So 160 to 170, it's 10. So there, so 160, and still I struggle with my technology, but 160, now if I have it correct, then the line goes bad, okay? And then to 170, there, ooh, ooh, shorter, okay? And there, okay. You can take a ruler, and just make it like that, just that it stands out. You can still do it in pencil. Now, the next one I'm going to draw is 170 to 175. So it's only 5 and it's 50. So 170, and now it's going up to 50. So it's going up high. Oh, sorry. Take your ruler. And it's just five. Okay, and I'm just drawing this. Okay, and then the next one, and I can look up again, it's going to be 175 to 185, and it's going to go up to 60, even higher. So it's 10. So even it's going to go up to 60. Luckily, that line is already there. Let me just get my pen correct. I think it's up to here. And then I should just go down uh, the pen. And then I just go like this. Okay. And then the last one is uh, 185 up to and then this, this this one is only going to be 10 again so it's actually just going to be um, it's just going to be here okay i just like as i said that you take a ruler just that it's maybe they don't see your line so well then it's just helping if you shade it a little bit like that okay so where did they give you the mark b1 for each correct bar drawn okay so then they gave you that so one, two, three, four, yes, one for every bar that you draw correctly. And then we go to the final page of this question paper. This is nice. This is nice. Okay. Estimate the mean height of the recruits. And I want to take you to the, it's very straightforward. It's in the textbook. So let's just find it in the textbook. You will find it on page, and I'll show you where. Page 667, do you see? There, 
the mean of group data. Doesn't matter if it's unequal or equal intervals, doesn't matter. But the first thing that you have to do is you have to find the middle points of the bars because it's an estimate. So you can say 5 plus 0 divide 2, it's 2.5. I always do it like this. 10 plus 5, I just add the, the end and the beginning and I divide 2. End plus beginning, divide 2, I get this. End plus beginning, and I get this. End plus beginning, divide 2, this, every time. And then I like to write it there on top, okay? Because then it's easy. Then I basically just take the top times the frequency, plus top frequency, top frequency, and I add everything, and I just divide it by the total frequency. And you get so more penny marks for writing that down, so please write that in. Um, this is just an estimate, and that's why I take the middle. I don't know if they are in the beginning or the end, so a middle is a good estimate. Let's go back to that last question. Okay. Now, that was the extra page where you could have wrote something. Mark it if you need more space. Okay. So now I think it will be best, and you can do it there. Then you don't have to, don't make a new table. No, unnecessary. Just go and just find that middle values. So say 170 plus 160 divided by 2 is 165. 170 plus 175 divided by 2 is 172.5. 175 plus 185 divided by 2 is 180. 185 plus 190 divided by 2 is 187.5. Now remember, I'm going to take this and I'm multiply the frequency. This multiply, this multiply, this multiply, and I'm going to add it up and divide it. Okay, so let's go and do it on the other side. So let's just go, and I'm just going to take a long, so that ruler, take a ruler, that will be good. I'm just going to go back to my the blue. That's my ruler. And now I'm just going to write it down. So I'm just going to say, and as I said, it was, can you remember? 165 multiply the frequency 100 plus 172.5 multiply the frequency plus the middle of that bar 180 multiply the frequency plus 187.5 Okay, um, multiply the frequency, and I divide it a thousand. And please write that. Just for that, I think you already get free. Um, <laughs> let's just mark it nicely. Uh, I like to work in red. Okay, you already get that free. Okay, excellent. And now you can. And, and now I like not to rush too quick. I want to get that last mark also. So I, I, I would rather just, if you have time, uh, say three, one, two, five. Otherwise, you can press it on your calculator. You're not going to get a mark for this thing. Over, oh, I don't know, I hate a line that's not nice. Take a ruler. Okay, and then over a thousand. And that, and I was now really overdoing it, 177000 over a thousand. And I was getting one on the dot, 177. And that was your final. Now I'm creating this video in 2022 and I just want to wish all the great 11s for 2022 a very, very good examination. And just remember, the key to success is to practice, practice, practice. Know your basics and then go in and have the confidence. And just remember, there will always be straightforward, level one, easy questions, and then middle questions, and then difficult questions. So give you everything, and I hope that you continue to AES level, a very nice, interesting uh, preparation for further studies is AES level mathematics. Good luck. A final thing I want to share just with you again is to tell you, because I refer to the textbooks Y equals MX plus C, uh, where you can find the books. So the following bookshops, they usually order from me, Waltons, you can check them. 
the brook then in Winduk, especially the Waltons, the Awas Valley, I'll see um, when I visit Winduk, I see it's there. Then silent investments, and then some of Namkol bookshops, you can check in the country if you can find it there. And then in the north, also Kavango bookshop in Rundu, bookshop of Namibia, I think it's more there in Oshikati, there around. Uh, Roka Stationeries is Katima Mulilu, the Wundu Bookshop also start ordering. And then at the coast, you can also check, I didn't show it in the previous video, at Swakop Munder Buchhandlung. And there I gave you the telephone numbers. And then also, if you want to see the prices and things like that, it's not to say that you will get it the same prices in the bookshop. So it will, you must first phone. It's just an idea. It's actually the prices that the books are on the catalogue, that the NEET catalogue that I put on my website. So I just want to show you. This is my browser um, where you can see all the different books. Uh, there is, I just want to show you also here. Let me just move it up. You will see my uh, email address. There is my email address. That is my website. I'll show you now where you can also find that. So there you will see all the posters. And then if I show you the next one, you will get all the information. What kind of books? It's the grade 8, it's the grade 9, it's the grade 10, 11, and it's the grade 12 AS level. Then there is the QR to the videos. And then I'll just the last thing I can maybe show you there. Just want to move it a little bit up. And there, there, and I'm just going to highlight it. There is the website of my, my um, of mine of the books and there you will see the prices which is on the need catalog as i said the best will be to phone the bookshops and to find out what is the prices in the bookshops okay and that was the final i wanted to share with you